it is so hot in here hi guys and welcome back to our channel if you're new here i'm chloe and this is mine and my boyfriend's backpacking channel we left to travel southeast asia on the 1st of march and we are currently in the komodo islands so i thought i got a spare five minutes a lot of people have been requesting to see what i packed and have been asking like do's and don'ts of what to pack so i thought i would do a video explaining everything that i pack so first things first i'm going to show you the bag that i've traveled with it is the eagle creek 65 liter backpack ignore how dusty it is it's got four months of travel out of it so it's the eagle creek 65 liter global companion backpack and the main reason i chose it is because it opens up like a suitcase and that's the main reason why I wanted it because I thought it would just be a lot more convenient for me to have a like a suitcase that opens up like a backpack instead of having a top loading one because the issue with the top loading ones is whenever you want anything from the bottom of your bag you need to take everything out so this was more convenient for me it was like 185 pounds the backpack itself is good but I would definitely not recommend purchasing it from the company which I did because it's currently broken on me, which I'm really, really disappointed about because like I said, it cost me £185, which is very expensive for a backpack. Like your life is being carried in this backpack. So you need a good backpack. There's no point in spending like £45 on a backpack. You need a good backpack. And mine has split on the waistband, like the part that goes around your waist. So I've been emailing the company and they haven't been getting back to me. And that company is Ad Nature, and I'm really fuming about it. But the backpack is great. It's got pockets at the front. It's got a waterproof case. It's very big. Like I said, it opens up like a suitcase. It's all padded at the back. Um, so yeah, this is the backpack that I chose. And now I'm going to show you what I packed. So I've got four packing cubes and I've separated my packing cubes out. So I've literally got all my tops in one. I've got my dresses in another. I've got my pajamas and all of my bikinis and swimsuits in another one. And then this one has got all my trousers, shorts, gym wear, skirts and everything like that. So I'm gonna go through everything and show you all what I got. First packing cube is my tops. So all of my tops that I've got, I have got a little black crop top. I thought I'd bring more crop tops because I wear them more than t-shirts. I have a little black boob tube. Everyone needs a boob tube in their life. So just got a little black plain boob tube. I have this top which I actually bought from... Um, where did I buy it from? I think I bought it from H&M. I bought it from H&M in Malaysia. But it's just a cute little green zebra print top. It's really stretchy as well. But I have got... This cute little striped top as well. So all of my tops are mainly just crop tops, but that's just what suits me. It depends obviously what your style is and everything. And then I've just got this stripey top and then it kind of goes round the neck and it's like strapless. So I have that little top. I just have a pajama top. This is what I traveled in to uh, like my flight to Bangkok. I thought I wanted at least one long sleeve top just in case it's cold on flights or I have actually used this on sleeper trains, sleeper buses and everything like that. So it's always good to have a long sleeve top. And I have another little black top with just little white frilly bits down the middle, like little hems. So that's a cute little top. And then I thought I would have a nicer top just for going out, nights out and stuff like that. So. I really like this top, it's from Motel Rocks. And it's really, really stretchy as well, really stretchy, but you can wear it like on the shoulders or you can wear it off the shoulders. And it's not like a full length sleeve, it's just like, um, it just comes up to your elbow. So this is another top that I have. And then I just bought one t-shirt. I did have two t-shirts, but in all honesty, it, they were just taking up too much room. So I just kept one. So I've literally just got this Primark, just a gray, just a grey t-shirt which I have for like long travel and stuff because it's more comfy and then for like a cover up for my shoulders I just have this top from Bershka it's just quite thin it just has like little moons and little pockets in but I thought I wanted something just to have over me if it's too hot and I'm in the sun there's no shade I use this quite a lot for like when we're on the back of mopeds and stuff so it protects my shoulders because 
when you're on the back of a moped or just in the sun in general like you do catch the sun a lot so yeah this is just like my little cover up that I have so that's everything that I have for top so that's one two three four five six seven <laughs> eight nine ten and I've also got just this little black top on as well which I have with me so yeah that's all of my top so now we're going to move on to the second packing cube which is all my trousers skirts and shorts guys it's literally like a million degrees in here we've got the tiniest little air con and we came back from breakfast and our window was open so we was like wondering why it was so freaking hot in here and it's because the window's been open someone must have opened it anyway shorts I have this denim pair of shorts which I bought from Malaysia because I never really wore denim shorts back home so I didn't bring them out with me personally because I thought that they weren't very comfortable and they're really thick and they'll just be like really hot in them but I see everyone wearing them and I thought like oh they're really flattering so I bought myself a pair in Malaysia so I've just got one pair of denim shorts with me and then I have got this pair of, I've cut the label out so I don't even know where these are from. I mean, they are very, very creased, but they're also very, very comfortable. Elastic waist, of course, you need something that's gonna be comfy. But just this like green pair of shorts. They're so comfy though, I love traveling in them. I bought this little skirt in Chiang Mai and I've yet to wear it and I spent like 10 pounds on this, but I don't even know where it's from. Oh, it's from this brand called, this is where my, top was from it says like divided but i think that i've got it from h&m again but it's literally just like a mini skirt i do really like this color but i haven't worn it i'm not really sh like a really short skirt type of person but i have that another pair of shorts i have i bought these in pp because i wanted a pair of like fitness shorts so these are just like a knockoff version of like nikes basically so they're just like elasticated They've also got like the trimming on the inside, so these are really cheap. So I just thought if I do any fitness or anything like that, then I can wear these. And for gym sets, I have got this set of Sheen. I've got it in like three different colours. I literally love them. I've got them in like dark purple and then this teal blue and then I've got them in a lilac. So I've just got the shorts and then I've also got the top and i really 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 love these they are so cute i always wear like wore them religiously to the gym when i was back home have i been to the gym in four months no um have i still got a gym set yeah will i wear it probably not <laughs> so next um i thought i'd at least bring one long skirt with me obviously cover up and stuff for temples so that's just a little note if you are coming traveling bring like a long pair of flowy trousers or just a skirt a long flowy dress that covers your shoulders and like your legs as well so i literally just got this skirt from new look i've had it years just got a little slit at the bottom but i've never had any issues with wearing it because it covers majority of my leg so this is the only long skirt i've got but yeah definitely recommend bringing something long with you just in case and then of course i've got the elephant pants from thailand if you haven't got a pair of elephant pants and you've been to thailand then you're doing it all wrong basically although jacob absolutely despises these like i'm now the typical like the backpacker been to thailand girl Ooh. but yeah so i've literally just got a pair of like they're like elasticated and i wear these on the plane, airports, anywhere that's gonna keep me warm and comfy. Like I said, on overnight buses and overnight trains and stuff, you do get cold. If you're in a dorm and there's like two aircon units, there are people that are bound to moan about the aircon. So yeah, you might get cold, so always have a pair of elephant pants. Okay, so that's everything that's in my second packing cube but you know the packing cubes that we use are literally just these ones from amazon if i've got the link i will link them um in the description it literally just says on them like amazon basics we do like them don't get me wrong they literally thread all the time like they thread all the time and we wish that we kind of had the ones that compress down so these ones obviously do it with the zip but we wish that there was two zips so then it could compress down are the compressions one worth it or not? I'm not 100% sure until we try them out. Um, but yeah, these are the ones that we use. They've done us, they're like, they've like they've done their job, but I probably wouldn't buy these exact ones again. On to bikinis. 
Okay, so the only pair of pyjamas that I bought, I literally bought one pair and I thought, if they're dirty, I can just wear like one of Jacob's t-shirts. But sometimes we stay in like a private room like what we're in now. We kind of mix between dorms to meet people and obviously to socialize. And then sometimes we stay in private rooms as well. But you will find if you come away as like two friends or a couple, that it is cheaper sometimes to actually stay in a private room than what it is in a dorm. So me and Jacob spent the first six weeks of our travel basically staying in private rooms, realised we wasn't meeting many people, so then we moved to dorms, Then sometimes we just like to have a break if we can find like a reasonable um, priced like place to stay just for us both, so yeah, just bear that in mind. But these are the only pair of pyjamas that I bought, they're literally just like a set from Primark that I've had for ages. So just the top as well, just like a strappy top, so that's the only pair that I've got. And with bikinis, I have actually bought this um, in Semignac the other day, but literally just like a thong pair of bikinis. And then I have the top, just got like a little red bikini, which I've got and the bottoms. But trust me, like if you have any bikinis that aren't necessarily great, just bring them anyway, because I got like, I got these from Sheen and like over time from being in the sea and the chlorine like it's kind of going rusty and disgusting then i bought a few mixed match bikinis so i literally just bought this top high-waisted bottoms i kind of i got rid of the top because it was quite uncomfortable but i do like doing scuba diving in these just because they cover me up a little bit more like a thong pair of um, bikini bottoms and then this was a full-on bikini but when we was in Uluwatu, the pool stained my hair green. Literally, my hair was green. The lizard is back in the room. I had to put ketchup all over my hair, so this is why I haven't got the top to this, because it's covered in ketchup stains. So I've just literally just got these bikini bottoms. The set from Sheen. I haven't actually worn these, um, but I don't want to get rid of them because they're brand new. But they are... They don't, they don't take up a lot of space, but yeah, I've just got these two sets as well. Um, so yeah, that is one bikini two bikinis and then some bottoms and tops so i've got like five bikinis so when we first initially came traveling i bought out 10 pairs of bikinis which is far too many i would literally say you need like four pairs of bikinis you always find a bikini that you feel more confident in and that you wear a lot more and you tend to keep re-wearing that bikini so only bring like four it's more than enough to like to choose from basically so yeah if this is like my advice to anybody is don't bring too many bikinis because i bought 10 and it was way too many you only need like four bikinis okay so this is the last packing cube and this is all my dresses and then i've just got a bikini cover up in here so the first dress that i wear religiously is just a new look dress that i've had for ages it's just an orange flowy dress and it's just got flowers on i love this dress i wear it all the time so that's one that I bought with me. I've only got one bikini cover-up. I've had this one ages as well, so I just thought it was great to bring with me. So if it got like broke or damaged or anything, then it wouldn't be a problem. But it's just literally like a, a gray dress. It's like shorter at the front and longer at the back. I have this red flowery dress, which is from Nasty Girl. I actually got it from a car boot before I before I left, so I've just got this little dress with me as well. The Sheen Find, I absolutely love this play suit. It's just like a burnt orange play suit and the back is my favorite. It's got all of like the strings at the back, so it's really, really cute on the back and it's also elasticated, so that's another reason why I love it as well. So that's just a little play suit that I've got. And then I've got a Motel Rocks dress. I absolutely love this dress. It's just a zip at the back. And then the straps, what I like about the straps is that you can't tighten them, but you can in a way, like you can't tighten them from the back, but basically the cute little bit at the front where it does up in between the boobs, you can basically like thread the strap through to make it like tighter or looser. So that's how you tighten the straps, but I love this little dress. So just a little flowy dress. This is a dress that I, Bought again from Malaysia. There was a <laughs> there was a sale in H and M. I bought like my shorts, and then the same top, literally like almost the same top as this dress, and then yeah, this dress in the top. So 
This is a cute dress. It was literally like two pounds and I couldn't not steal her for two pounds. So it's just like a cute little bodycon dress and it goes around the neck and then it's backless. I absolutely love this dress. So I've got that one and then uh, my last dress is a, I don't even know where this is from. I think it might be from Sheen, but I love this dress. It's just like a ribbed green material and you can have it long or you can have it short. It's got like the elasticated bit on the sides and then you do it up so literally you can just like pull it longer or shorter so I do really like this dress as well I can dress it dress it up with my dot martins or I can dress it down with my crocs so that is everything that I've got like all of my dresses I've also got a black play suit as well um which is also from Sheen these are also a pair of shorts that I have they're just a cotton pair of like cream shorts which I use for traveling as well so onto pants and bras and socks I just basically reuse these sheen bags because I thought like I ordered so much from sheen so I just thought I would put everything in here so I've literally got like 15 pairs of pants and then I've just got like a Calvin Klein bra and pants set and I've got about five or six pairs of socks so I've literally just got all of my pants and my socks in these little sheen bags so if you have ordered from Sheen before and you've got loads of these bags, bring them with you. I do have some spare ones as well, just like bigger ones because it's easy for washing as well. If you've got like dirty washing, just like put them in these and take them to the laundrette. So I've got quite a few of these spare with me. So that's all of my bras and pants. And regarding jumpers, this is the jumper that I traveled in. It's I've had this jumper ages. Um, it's just like a grey jumper, very snug, it's got a hoodie, it's not super long but and it's not super thick either, I didn't want something that was going to be like a knitted jumper because obviously you don't have the room for that but a jumper is always necessary obviously for like flights and it gets cold on like sleeper trains and stuff so this is the jumper that I travelled with and regarding shoes i have three pairs of shoes i did have four I had my sketches as well but i basically gave them to my sister when she came on holiday to take them back home so i've just got a pair of converse as my main trainers and a little tip for you if you have any shower caps to put your dirty shoes like these are filthy i haven't washed them yet from when we climbed mount Patur. But yeah, keep your dirty shoes in your shower caps because then it keeps your bag clean. So I've got my Converse and then I bought a pair of Crocs. They're absolutely disgusting. They really, really, really need to clean. But I just bought a pair of Croc sliders in Chiang Mai. So I've got these as well. And my main pair of sandals is my beautiful Doc Martin sandals. I absolutely love these. A lot of people were questioning me if I should bring them or not because they are really, really chunky. But literally, these are like my ride or die sandals. They, like, apart from the fact that when I was in Chiang Mai and I had to kind of get them sewed on the seam on either sides, on both of them, I don't know, I just one day noticed that they had somehow ripped. But yeah, I do love these sandals and they're very like hard wearing so I wear them religiously so these are the three pairs of shoes that I've got so now that we've covered all the basics on clothes I'm going to show you everything else that I've got in my bag regarding like toiletries towels etc so everything else that I've got in my bag is a waterproof we literally just bought waterproofs from trespass we did go to Thailand in the like rainy season so we have got our use out of our waterproof I would definitely recommend buying one you don't know when you're gonna hit like rain especially with all the climate change or whatever not like even we've been in bali in like the good time of year to come and we've still been caught up in rain so definitely bring a waterproof another must is a microfiber towel i've literally just shoved this in here that's why it doesn't fit but it does fit i love this one by dock and bay this is just a large one although i probably would go for a darker color next time because i've stained this quite a lot i dropped my pot noodle on it and it's got rust on it from a boat so it's not the cleanest it is clean but it looks a bit dirty but definitely a microfiber towel is something that you need even if you like bring one or two but yeah microfiber towel is definitely a must We've bought these bags, which are they're kind of like the dry bags and you can fold them down and then clip them up. So we use these for our washing, like all of my dirty washing is in these. So Jacob's sister actually got us them for Christmas and they come in a set. So you get big and small ones or you can just get one size. But we've got like a whole group of these just 
so they're useful if you do anything like water rafting and stuff just to put valuables in to keep dry I also have got um, colours, some will say that it's not worth it or not like I don't need it but everyone's different with what they want to pack. At first I bought straighteners and I didn't actually use them at all so I sent them back with my sister and I decided that if I wanted to do anything with my hair I would definitely rather curl it than straighten it. So I have got a pair of curlers. You could probably use like a towel size pair. I would definitely say that you don't need a hair dryer. So yeah, I've got a pair of curlers with me anyway. I've got my Polaroid camera. I didn't actually have this for my first four months of traveling. And then when my sister came out, I told her to bring it because I wanted the memories and I'm so glad that she did bring it because I bought like the, the tapes to go inside. The only issue is, is that it is very, very chunky, but I definitely like, I love it and yeah, I have all my little Polaroids from it. So that is something that I have. Although a, like a disposable camera will probably just be as useful and obviously not as chunky. So yeah, anyway, I've got my Polaroid camera. We have a flashlight from when we went to Kosok and we've just kept it with us. We was gonna bin them because we thought, when will we need them? And they're just taking up loads of room, but we've kept them and we've actually made our use out of them. So yeah, we've got a flashlight, it's not necessary. We had them in Kosok, so yeah, we've just basically kept them, but it wasn't optional to bring a flashlight. Like I didn't bring one when we first came out. My toiletry bag, some might say I have too many toiletries and I would say I agree with them. But this is my toiletry bag. Now, when I came out, I initially bought this toiletry bag and I bought a small toiletry bag. And this small one broke, so this is the only one I have. I would suggest to people when coming on a trip to Asia to bring sun creams from home because sun creams here are so, so, so expensive. You're talking 12 to 15 pounds for a bottle of sun cream. So me and Jacob bought two each. And then because we're traveling for a long period of time, we've got full size shampoo and conditioner just because for us it's worth it than buying small shampoo and conditioner bottles all the time. Yeah, I've got dry shampoo, I've got deodorant in here. I've got everything in here. So this is literally everything that I've got. I've got moisturizers, hair oils, dry shampoo, aloe vera, sun cream, everything you name it, I have it in here. And lastly, I bought a extension lead. A lot of people maybe won't bring an extension lead, but we thought if you're in a hostel and you've only got one outlet and you need to charge a lot of things, like I have five things to charge, like my phone, my iPad, I've got my power bank, I've got my headphones, I've got my Apple Watch, like at least five things. So if you've only got one outlet, obviously, you just need a international plug, which we've also got. I'll link that in the description because they're very useful and you'll need one. But yeah, so you can obviously just plug it in the wall and then you can charge all your gadgets on this at the same time. So it doesn't take up a lot of room. I literally just slot it in the front of my bag. So yeah, it's not like a massive extension cable, but at least it's something where you can charge everything that you need. So this is the bum bag that I chose to bring. It's the solo bum bag from the YouTuber Backpacking Bananas. I absolutely love all of her videos and my friend bought it me for my birthday a couple of years ago before I came traveling. So this is the one that I've been using and it's great. It's got a front pocket and then it's got a main zip, which is absolutely massive. My battery pack is like a brick and it fits in here along with my purse and my phone and everything like that. And it's also got a zip at the back, which is like the whole length of the backpack. And then you can, oh, actually it's got another zip as well. It's got another zip at the front. And then it's also got a little clip as well. And you can make it shorter or longer. So this is the bum bag that I have been using. I'll also leave the link in the description as well for this bum bag. So that is everything that I've bought with me. So now I'm gonna pack my bag and I'm gonna show you what everything looks like inside and how I fit it in. So if you want a style of backpack like mine, then you can get kind of like a rough idea of what it would look like if you were to pack it. Do I think that I have too much stuff still? Yes, but I'm not going to get rid of anything. Me and Jacob are wanting to go to Australia and do our working holiday visa. So when we do farm work or hospitality and whatever not, we are going to have to have like a lot of clothes, like the fact that we'll be sweating and stuff. So what I've got is what I've got to deal with. I can tell you though, because we flew yesterday to the Komodo Islands. My bag weighs about 13 kilograms. So yeah, that's how much my bag weighs, but I'm going to pack it now and then I'm going to show you what it looks like packed. So... Enjoy. 
So this is what my bag looks like. It's got a it's got a pad down the side. It is very big and roomy and it's got a little zip on one of the sides and from the front we have two zips here. This is where I keep my extension lead. It's got a pocket at the top where I keep my waterproof jacket. So I've packed the other side of my bag. So I literally just fit in my four packing cubes and they fit perfectly. in so I put my extension lead in there like that and then I do up that little zip like that so literally that is everything packed in my bag everything like that so all in all this weighs about 13 kilos my bag I mean everything fits in I probably still have got far too many clothes but that's everything that's in there she's all Packed. So that's the end of this video. I hope you like this video and that it's useful to you. Me and Jake are going to be doing a Q&A of questions about traveling regarding savings, money, where to stay, how to book hostels, literally anything. So if you have any questions, then make sure that you put them in the comments and stay tuned for our next video. Bye!